Yeah, take it easy. Oh yeah. Yikes. I'm Tom. And I'm Cherie. And we're enjoythejourney.live. I don't know how much of this you can hear, but uh, yeah, the engine is working pretty darn hard. We are starting our climb up the Teton Pass. It's a 10% grade. How is the F450 gonna handle it? Yeah, in the peak of our uh, ascent right here. And turbo is kicking in a little over 50%. Not terrible. Um, we're going about 32 miles an hour right now. A little bit under the speed limit. I'm certainly not you know, giving it all it's got. Everybody's taking it slow. Yeah, I think during the winter, this route is just entirely closed to big trucks and RVs this size. That would not be fun. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, I guess that wasn't as smooth as I thought, thought it would be. I know, I did too. I think I'll put the emergency brake on. That wasn't subtle. I didn't tell Cherie at the time, but I had a really hard time stopping on that turnout. I was practically standing on the brake in the truck, and I wasn't going that fast. There are some RVers that will not take the Teton Pass, and I can see why. Even with the Ford F450, I was white knuckling it going downhill. And going uphill wasn't a whole lot better because the engine was working really hard. I mean, just to go 30, 35 miles an hour. A word of caution when RVing Teton Pass. Make sure you check your brakes in advance, the brake controller, check your fluid levels. You want to make sure that you're ready for this. We had just had a brake job done on the RV before this trip and I felt really confident, but the brake controller on regular highways is one setting. When you get on extreme mountain uh, roads like that, you need to turn it up. And that's actually what I did. I, and we didn't have any other issues after that. A few more tips if you're going to Grand Teton National Park in your RV. If you can, look at entering through the West Yellowstone entrance. Uh, we did not go that way, but some other RVers have talked about going that way. I think there's some uh, length restrictions there, so look into that. And if you are going to be taking the Teton Pass, like I said, double check your engine, brakes, all the coolant levels, brake fluid, stuff like that. But also make frequent stops. Uh, the engine is going to be working really hard in your truck or your motorhome. So you might need to give it a few minutes to cool off on some of these pullouts. Uh, and that's going uphill. Going downhill, you may want to pull off to give your brakes a chance to cool off as well. Because what happens when your brakes heat up, they stop working after a while. So keep in mind uh, those issues. Uh, keep an eye on your gauges uh, to make sure nothing is overheating as well. It can be really easy going downhill to let yourself go too fast or to brake too much. What I do is kind of pump the brakes, press them for a little bit, let go, press them for a little bit. Make sure you're using your engine brakes. I put the truck into the tow haul mode. Actually, I keep it in that all the time, but especially important when you're on a mountain like this. Uh, so our engine braking was kicking in um, as well. And after all that white knuckle driving and you make it, it's time to do the Teton Pass happy dance. Go we made it up, up the mountain, mountain in the, the F-450. F we have several weeks of adventuring around Grand Teton National Park, 
going into Jackson, Wyoming, several awesome hikes and more. So make sure you smash that subscribe button so you catch all of our videos as well as how we found this awesome campsite. Well, we might have a contender for the new best campsite yet. <laughs> we can only stay here five days. The Tetons. I have been waiting and waiting for months and months for this campsite. Oh, it's so cool and it's popular. <laughs> Getting ready for a gorgeous sunset. Talk under moonlight till dawn. Mm. We could stay to watch the sunrise, cancel all our plans. We don't need a reason why we just can't. Stop time and stay in this moment. Never think about going. Won't you stay with me for a little while? Caught myself free falling deep into your eyes. You came to me without warning. by the time I leave here. <laughs> well, one thing with this place, we had to bring our own drinks up here and it's upstairs. From the bar and this was like to the top. And so my whole <laughs> glass is sticky, <laughs> but right. I'm good with that. Right, let's just not get another one because after having one, Okay, well, like wait a this. minute, wait a minute here. He said there's huckleberry <laughs> martinis, so there might be another one, but I'm not saying anything You'll more. You'll have to get your own. <laughs> oh, I have to carry it up. Yeah, you have to carry it up. So I won't be like, like uh, uh, okay. <laughs> well, anyway, the glass is sticky, but I'm okay with that right now. Right. This is kind of a cool secret spot this we is, discovered. Yeah, this is our secret spot because, first of all, look at the view. Yeah. There's not many places where you can get this view, and it's close to where we're dry camping. Right, we're actually technically in Moose, Wyoming, which is like, I don't know, it's a good 15, 20 minutes from Jackson. Yeah, and it has the view of the this mountain range. Is that yeah, what you call it? You know I'm not mountain tribe, so I'm learning these terms. Mountain the, range? The Tetons, and we got the Snake River yes, right here. Yes. And yeah, beautiful deck, dining, perfect for sunset right. here. There's also a wine store down there. It's vast, and you can buy some wine, bring it up here, and just enjoy the view with the great weather. This is just... And a few bugs. <laughs> I don't have the bug problem. It's just because he's so sweet. <laughs> 
<laughs> he is. He's really that sweet. That's why they love you. And right, so you've got a Cosmo. I've mm -hmm. got a very tasty nitro stout here. Nice. A little different from the IPA, but it's very good. Yeah. And so you want to try the Huckleberry. Uh, martini. I do. Huh? Yeah, I wish I'd known about that before because I don't drink that much. <laughs> and it's like a rare occasion that I have a drink. So now I'm like wanting a second drink just to try the Huckleberry Martini. Right. So this is known as a spar. Uh, spur? This is spar? Spar. spar. This is known as a spur bar or Dornan's, right? Dormans, something like that. Dornan's. It's, like, they have pizza and salads right now, it's, but it's just so nice to step there and have dinner, have a view, a couple cocktails. Yeah, sorry we didn't share our pizza with you. <laughs> we weren't going to record here, but the we view is We weren't going to record too, here, but the view is so nice. great. I sent Tom out to get all of our camera stuff just so we could share this with you because it's a great little secret spot. You can't see it from the main road. You have to actually come down here. And it's there's a lot down, the little shops and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's very cool. Yeah. Um, we've got... Uh, Oh gosh, I don't know, so much to talk about here. We'll have to just show you. <laughs> this has been so beautiful. The view that we have from where we're staying, now this. The town is so adorable. Yeah, Jackson. It really is. It's super crowded right now, but driving through, it looks like an old Western contemporary town. It's a great little mix, really busy, happening little town. Super cute. Totally, and we're here right before the 4th of July, what were we thinking? Are they gonna be able to hear you over the screaming kid? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll be yeah. fine. Right, we're here right before the 4th of July. Yes. And so it might be a little crazy Might be town. a little crazy, but that's, we'll probably spend that time working because we try to avoid the crowds. <laughs> right. Which is why we love this. It's Wednesday night. I know, so. it's Wednesday night. This is our weekend. But there's like a whole bunch of tables up here still available where Jackson was packed. So this is a great little spot. Be sure to check it out when you're here. Right. And we're still trying to figure out what is Jackson Hole. Jackson or Jackson Hole? Yeah, it's like the town of Jackson, but what's Jackson Hole? We haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> we'll figure it out much now. Well, cheers. Cheers. To just an ordinary view. Ordinary view. And you can hear all of our conversation. So you can't swear. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's only her first drink. <laughs> but I don't drink very much, so it's going to be a little harder. I don't drink. Are you laughing at my much. expense? <laughs> just wondering. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? <laughs> You're laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all laugh at you. Mm, the oh, Dean family. The Dean family. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy <laughs> your journey. Woo! Oh wait, no, 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 because there's more. Wait, wait, wait. Because I want to address what he was saying earlier. He said we were doing this how long ago? Before they were even born, and they did it without cameras. And it's like. What's that like? Did you even do it though? <laughs> What's that like? Is there proof? Yeah, there's no there's proof. No proof. Pictures, we it have, didn't happen. We have no record of our greatness. <laughs> That's the problem. Pictures or didn't happen. Just I mean, saying. It's photographic memory. Yeah, but we can't see that. Prove it. <laughs> Just kidding. I think it's awesome. I'm from Tennessee. Be careful. <laughs> oh We're the volunteer state. You know, we That's can, right. we, we can <laughs> prove a lot Go of balls. things. <laughs> What's been your favorite part Y'all are lovely. Your You're a lovely so couple. Far. Honest to God. Y'all are great. What's that? You're a lovely couple. Oh, are, thank, you. oh thank you. We have fun. I know, right? <laughs> I think it's great. Thank you. Where were you born? I was born in Mesa, Arizona. Mm -hmm. oh. But spent a lot of time in Minnesota. Yeah. That was his last permanent spot still the permanent we do this address full but... time so yeah i was in destin florida when we met i, I swiped right he swiped right no. oh, <laughs> it's love nice. which yeah. app uh tender <laughs> <laughs> in the late 40s so we right. met and we've been traveling ever since so four years for me seven years for him yeah. so wow. yeah nice yeah. Just on our way you? north and yep. yeah, boondocking right now. Time to hit so. Glacier and Yellowstone again. It's been two years yeah. since we did those. So. Well, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> this isn't a terrible view, is it? What do you guys think? This view sucks. <laughs> Look at this. 
<laughs> it's his favorite so far. And yeah. wow, have we been coming up with some we great places. We have. I mean, this has been the season of amazing, amazing oh. campsites. We keep, keep getting blown away more and more and more. Right. Best free campsite ever. And it used to be like a secret, actually. And now that it's, it's made a lot of these apps and stuff, so like we found it on the dirt found Pro it on the dirt that's app. where we've been finding all of them right it's, it's been awesome it's been great yep. and we got one of the best sites here yes you know the best yeah site we could definitely here. argue yeah to, this is the best right because we got a nice little privacy corner over here the perfect view up high doesn't get any better right <laughs> i know it does sound like i'm becoming more mountain tribe i don't know if i'll ever admit it <laughs> yeah so we'll just still say i'm beach tribe a few viewers have commented about that i know they're, that, uh, yeah. they're noticing i'm being outed <laughs> yeah, well there's a little bit of water down there we got the snake river there is down there. and i like it in the evenings when the sun goes down and it reflects in the um the sun reflects in that water so it's right. nice. Well, we're getting a little chewed up out here <laughs> by bugs. So we're going to shut her down and head inside. Yep. And let us know if you ever get this site. Yeah. We'll put the GPS uh, directions down below. Yeah. And so. subscribe. Thumbs up. We love you guys. Bye. <laughs> so long. Did you pick her up along the way then? <laughs> he did, yeah, actually. He's from Minnesota. I'm from Florida. He was... Oh, I just had a bug in my face. Um, had a... We were on a dating app. I was living down in Destin, Florida. He was in Pensacola <laughs> and we matched him. 